Hello and welcome to another Kit Car Shorts. And I did think about doing the old ugly duckling or signet to the swan routine with this one. But I think the bulldog was definitely well named. After all, the bulldog looks like it's been several rounds with a professional boxer. And though there's people out there who think they're cute dogs, well, leave a comment below by all means. You know, uh, I don't mean to offend anybody, but if we're honest, it's not the prettiest dog in the world. And this is definitely not the prettiest car. In fact, if you'd asked me when the drawings first came into the kit car magazines, if the bulldog was going to spawn one of the biggest kit car companies in the industry, I'd have laughed at you. I mean, here's the first production Bulldogs. That grille, like a BMW, a modern BMW, and the similarities are striking, does look like a baboon's arse. It is an ugly thing. But what sold the Bulldog was that it was very, very cheap. And it made entry into the 1930s roadsters that were very popular in the 1980s in the kit car industry very affordable for people it was a nice simple car with a ladder chassis morris marina running gear which was fine for a little run around like this and it was straightforward with good grp quality even if the looks were a little bit challenging so maybe the lesson here is maybe not to judge a book by its cover but i certainly wouldn't have predicted how much the company would grow it was definitely the price that sold the bulldog but over time it evolved into an attractive car and by the time you got to this last version the four-seater um pilgrim ft or family tourer the bulldog had become well an attractive car and a very well built car and a very high quality car so there's lessons to be learned for all of us here um you know there is a lot to be said for something that's cheap entry level and building a brand from the ground up now i hope you've enjoyed this little video uh if you have please click on the like and subscribe and if you've got a car a kit car a low volume car that you think we'd be interested in and it's on the road then why not drop me an email to nwinseats at gmail.com. Take care. See you next time.